Okay, so uh, bring yourself down to the floor now and you'll need something that you can lean on, like a chair or a ball and your squishy ball. So the first thing we're going to do is, it's a bit of an oblique day today with all the hip twisting that we were doing in our warm up. Uh, we're going to come down and work on the obliques, which are our pushing muscles for helping to get our babies out. So if you come down onto your side, if you haven't got a ball with you, you can use a cushion for this. And you're going to pop the ball between your knees and just rest your elbow underneath your shoulders so that there's a lovely straight line between shoulder and elbow joint. And the first thing you're going to do is tuck the arm underneath your waist. So just pop your arm around so you can see if you can feel your rib cage on the other side. I know if your bump is a bit big, you might not get that far. First thing you're going to do is inhale and open up your hand and look up to the ceiling as you lift. Really try to lift out of your waist here and then exhale and twist at the waist as you take the hand back under. Now keep in mind that I need you to really squeeze your ball. Inhaling open and exhaling, squeeze that ball as you rotate and come back through so that you don't misalign your knees. You want them to be exactly lined up with one another the entire time. So if you're feeling quite strong today, you can lift up off the floor as you rotate round and push your bottom forward as you lift and then come back down. You might feel those waist muscles on the side really contracting as you lift and push through the glutes. So let's do a few more of those. Now if you're starting to feel a bit lightheaded or a bit dizzy, then don't lift up off the floor. And if this hurts your back in any way, then definitely keep your hips down on the floor. Okay, bring yourself back to seated so we can swap over to the other side. Take your time, don't rush. And then just recheck that your ball is still in the right place. Have a little look between the shoulders and the elbows to make sure that that's all neat and tidy. And then tuck your hand underneath your waist. Take a breath in as you open up and exhale as you bring it back down and rotate underneath the arm. Do the same again and just have a little look down at your knees. As you rotate, are they staying exactly where they should be? So don't let them slide forwards and backwards. Now, one of the key things to remember here is that even though I like you to keep your tummy muscles relaxed, this is actually one of the occasions that you can hold your tummy muscles tidily. So you don't want to squeeze them tight, but just make sure that they feel like they're neatly tucked in. And on the next inhalation, we are going to lift up the hips if you're joining me on that level. Really squeeze your bottom at the top of the hip lift. So inhale, squeeze, exhale, come back down. And again, we'll do a few more here like this. Now the elbow option is quite nice because if you have sore wrists, it means that the pressure is not on your wrist but you can do this on the hand if you find that this isn't enough for you, if you're a super fit mama. Okay, release. Bring yourself to a seated position. We're gonna use the ball here. So squeeze your ball. If you have a cushion, squeeze the cushion. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're gonna circle the ball around the front of your body. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, do the same again. So we're just loosening off the hips and making the core muscles wake up. Try and relax your shoulders and keep your breathing flowing. Good, reach the cushion or ball up over your head. Little stretch from side to side. Inhale one way, exhale the other. And take the ball down. Now you're gonna wedge the ball behind your bottom here. Take your hands onto your baby and relax your shoulders. Take a nice calm breath in. 
close your eyes and exhale. Same again, breathe in. Exhaling through the nose. And breathe in. On this exhalation, really let your pelvic floor muscles relax, relax, relax. Almost as though your uterus could slide down and meet the mat. tummy as relaxed as you possibly can now. We're going to come onto the gym ball or a chair or a bean bag or anything else that you might have available to you. So we're going to work at helping our babies get into the correct position for later. So what I want you to do here is just to rest your chest. Now if you have the ball you can sway from side to side kneeling on your mat. If you are on a solid chair, you would sway your hips from side to side. And with both movement patterns, you really want to keep your tummy muscles as relaxed and soft and supple as possible. The more tense you are, the harder it's going to be for your babies to rotate and descend into the pelvis and get snuggly down into the pelvis for delivery. So really focus on a nice calm breath in one way and then a lovely slow calm breath out the other way. So if you're on the ball, rock from side to side. Really let that tummy go. And if you're on the chair, sway from side to side. Okay. We're going to create a little space for babies now. So if you come back up onto your knees and with the ball, you roll the ball forward with your hands and stretch out your tummy muscles. Inhale, bring yourself back up and exhale, do the same again. Nice and slow. Now, if you're using a chair, you will have to position yourself away from your chair and reach forward and create the same stretch. Obviously you won't be able to roll forward and back, so what I would do is have one stretch and hold, and then bring yourself up, take a little breather, and get ready to go back into position again when you're ready. But if you're on the ball, you can roll and return. So it becomes quite a rhythmic exercise. I have a feeling my Pilates ball Stopping this one from rolling. I can feel it. And let's do one more, just like that. Okay, so then we're going to bring the ball closer to us. And if you're using a chair, just take yourself closer to the chair. Pile up some cushions on top of the chair and then bring yourself onto the front of the ball. And we're going to continue with that rocking theme today. So just rotating the ball from side to side and allowing your tummy muscles to completely relax. If you are on a chair, all I want you to do is stay still and allow your hips to sway from side to side. I don't know if you can feel some stretching going on in the adductors and the inner thigh area, so just have a little look out for that feeling. Try and relax the tummy muscles as much as you can. You can actually do the hip sway if you're on the ball as well. So take your pick. If you are on a ball, rotate. If you're on a chair, sway. Or do both if you're on the ball. This is a really good place to spend your time, especially in the later weeks of pregnancy, 28 plus, when we're trying to get those babies to be lying in the correct position and gravity really helps us here to get their spine lying on your left side of your tummy towards the front. So the more time you spend like this, the less time you spend 
slumping back on your sofa, the better it's going to be for your baby's position. And this is so relaxing. I think this is how we're going to end this session today. So tune in again next time for more Fit Mama fun and games. See you soon. Thank you.